You, you know, I've done these a few times now, and you'd think I'd uh, know how to click the buttons correctly. How you doing, I, Paul? I would. I'm doing great. How are you? Wonderful, wonderful. Thank um, you so much for clicking the buttons and bringing me in. Ah, <laughs> uh, good stuff. So, hey, who, who are you? You know, who I am hasn't changed in a while. I am Paul Trigosky, oh, really? and I am a managed OpenShift black belt at Red Hat. And you are JJ Asgar, and you're a developer advocate for the IBM cloud. That's true. That is true. And this is our old Thursday stream where Paul and I kind of sit down and attempt to do something cloud native, uh, usually with an oak kink to it. And uh, we are going to something along the same lines. What are we? What are we playing with today, Paul? I'm just still processing the fact that suddenly we we have a kink. I wasn't expecting. Yeah, no, isn't that crazy? Yeah, right. right. Uh, what are we doing? Uh, we're looking at. Oh my God! What's it called? U U Umla, U M Umla, Sumla, like Nuba. I N Nuba. Nuba. That's it. Nuba. Nuba. Yeah. Ah. And cheap. it is uh, a thing for storage for lots of clouds, right? I think so. I think so. But before before we just completely jump in, um, let's just assume nobody knows anything about cloud technologies and what's your, if I came to you as a customer or possible customer and said, I need some object storage, but I don't know what object storage is. What would you say? Well, I would say, how do you know what object storage is if you claim to not know anything about cloud? It's a very good question to have. Um, so the question you might have I... <laughs> is I need to put some files on the internet so that they can be accessible. Okay. Okay. And I'll be like, hey, I know so, just the place. You put them on Napster. Oh, no, LimeWire. What are you doing? Napster's Lime where wire. all the all right. LimeWire, man. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Uh, but in, in all seriousness, uh, so so oh, object storage is where you put, yeah, you, you put files up there. The, the the canonical one out there in this world is, is S3 buckets. That's what people know as object storage or an S3 bucket, which is, Stands for simple storage service. Is that right? I'll, I'll roll with that. Yeah. Yeah. There's um, three S's and, and it stands for storage. Yes. Yes. Uh, so, so most of the time, um, when you talk about this kind of thing, you just kind of throw this up on S3 or COS, which is the IBM Cloud uh, Cloud Object Storage, or for a deep cut, there's something called Swift out there um, that Paul and I know way too much about. Um, and that's as far as we're going with that. And Numbla seems to be, or sorry, not Numba, Nuba, Nuba, um, seems to be a, almost a proxy in front of multiple S3 endpoints. So you can like talk to Numba once. Well, multiple object can, storage endpoints. Multiple object storage. Okay. Okay. Right. Okay. So, uh, so, uh, uh, to just quickly take a step back to actually finish yeah. what we were talking about. So an object store S3 kind of being the canonical example is mm -hmm. effectively a file server in the cloud and you use an API to push and push files into that. And then you use an API or just HTTP to pull files back down. Right? So it is, it is not that different to like files you keep on your desktop or files you keep on, on like Google Drive or whatever. Uh, it's just okay. magic and in the cloud and uh, like unlimited. Yeah. And so, and, and they take care of like some replication and other stuff like that. And so you have, uh, let me think, you have the, the concept of uh, buckets and buckets are effectively, you kind of treat them as directories. And then you have the objects, which are effectively files. So, I mean, think of it as like, if you know what an NFS share is, think of it an NFS share, but you don't access it via NFS, you access it via APIs. Okay. Okay, cool. Okay. Right. And, and that's, so S3 is the canonical in Amazon. As you said, there's cause there's Azure file store, there's yep. 
Google object, whatever it's called. So every cloud has uh, an object store. It is kind of the, it's almost like the, the like the lowest, low like hanging fruit of cloud services. The ability to put mm -hmm. a file on the internet for other people to access. I feel like if you don't have that, you like, I struggle to believe that you're a cloud. Yeah. I mean, well, in essence, if, if you, I mean, the next one, next layer up would be like compute, right? And if you need to store compute images, you need some level of storage. In other words, you need to be able to put files out there. So you're right. It's, it's like the, it's the very baseline of, of a cloud. Um, okay. So, so let me bring up Numba here or Numba. I'm going to, is Numba, Look, I think, is that another term for something? I like the fact that you're pronouncing it differently every single time you say it. So let's roll with that. <laughs> uh, Neil, uh, hey, I hey, highly man. recommend that you uh, take a shot every time that JJ pronounces it correctly. Because if you take a shot every time JJ pronounces it wrong, you're going to get fucked up real quick. Uh, that's the damn truth. Um, the uh, Well, you know, i got to be on brand and I can't pronounce my name. I mean, my name is... JJ for a reason. It's easy to spell because it's the same letter twice, right? Like it's got it to be on brand. Anyway, um, so here we go. Uh, here's Numba. I swear, it's stuck in Numba now. Uh, it's uh, mm -hmm. Numba.io. I'll throw this into the chat. So if you want to tag along and don't want to type things out, uh, here we go. Is, is oh, there you go. Isn't it that, that song with the guy with the headphones that dances? Isn't that called like, isn't that Numa or something? Maybe, maybe. Um, I bet, I bet Neil knows so what I'm much. talking about. Yeah, pro probably. If you have a good idea, please please throw it in the chat. And uh, also, as with always, when Paul and I stream, if you have any questions or thoughts while we're doing stuff, uh, we, we pay attention to the chat as best as we can um, because this is a learning experience for us all. Um, we did actually uh, get a portion of this up and running um, in a previous stream because it was, turns out it was a uh, dependency or something we were trying to do. But as we started looking through it throughout the week, um, we discovered that there's a lot more to it. And that's the reason why we're spending this time now to be able to do it. Our ultimate goal um, for this stream is to be able to get Numba, Numba, whatever, up and running um, on a OpenShift cluster and maybe tie it into a couple, if not, um, uh, Cloud object storage or uh, object storages on different clouds. Um, Paul and I have access to uh, AWS, Azure, and IBM Cloud, uh, respectively. Uh, so hopefully everything will kind of come together. But the craziest thing about this thing is that the actual installation process is too simple. Like I'm, I'm very skeptical, Paul, on 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 what the, they are saying here. Um, I will throw this over to the chat um, so you can take a look yourself. And that's a horrible URL, I'm sorry. Um, but basically it's like a CLI that you just say, go install, okay, thanks, bye. Um, and if you actually the try Numbla site, um, there's a video here that shows somebody doing it. And it is literally like two commands, which seems really not, dude, I think they're promising the moon here. I think they're promising the moon, but we'll, we'll see. We'll see. All right, Paul. Um, was that Is enough? This way we say that's not uh, a moon, preamble? it's a space station. I don't know. There you I go. Feel like there's a nerd um, thing there. That's what we'll find out. There. Is it really the moon or is it the Death Star? <laughs> exactly. Um, now we could go through the Red Hat Marketplace and or uh, the normal um, uh, operator hub here. Uh, we're going to, and Paul and I like playing the hard, hard, hard path normally. So we're actually going to go through the readme of the actual operator CLI. Ooh, that's so I'm going to go ahead and bring this. Yeah, I'm going to bring this over here so we can actually start copying and pasting commands. Uh, we're not going to be running off a of Mac. We normally run off our, our, um, our Linux box because Paul hates Macs. Um, so we're going to grab this, Let's grab the version number. Uh, so if we echo version, version, we got our version number. 
go ahead and copy this curl curl something down so it looks like we got a curl here um oh. oh cool so they just put the go binary up there they don't actually zip it up which is interesting uh change mod we didn't even curl batch something we just just pulled like something directly from the internet and said hey let's run this on this box um, which seems dangerous but you know i guess that's life uh sudo grab the password you taking care of the chat paul password why don't you just stick it in like your local bin directory yeah, whatever. I'm doing what the instructions say. All you've right, do exactly not, what not, the instructions not, say. Hey, hey, you've yelled at me before not doing the instructions, and I'm finally doing them, and now you're yelling at me for not doing the instructions. I just got to say, you, that's uh, very confusing. You, you, you raise a valid message, point. Look, you should do as I want, not as I say. Uh, exactly. Exactly. All right, here we go. We got a new namespace. So if we do K, get name and S, grab new, grab Prep new. There we go. Good, good to know. Uh, we'll go ahead and do NS. All right. So then we just do Nuba install. <laughs> All right. <laughs> cool. It's happening. Or is it? So it seems. Ooh, ticks. I know, right? For, for Americans, that's a checkbox. He speaks weird words, I know. Oh, yeah, that's right. You don't call them a ticks. Well, yeah. what do you call the Nike Check. twit tick then? The what? The Nike, Nike tick. tick. That's a swoosh. The Nike tick. It's a Nike, Nike oh. swoosh. It's actually, it's actually Wait, it's not a, a it's trademark. A, it's, not a, it's not a Nike checkbox? No. No, it's actually a swoosh. It's a it's it's actually um as swoosh it's not a it's not a checkbox it's not a check it's a swoosh oh well, there you go see in, in the uh in the rest of the world it's a nike tick yeah well it's not in america so I'm... right america america hey uh so um I noticed the comment about uh, here, and uh, I got to say, um, after three years as an IBMer, I just got my Lotus Notes instance up and running uh, this last week, and it was surprisingly easy. Um, I'm not saying I'm using it, but I'm saying I had to, and uh, it's actually uh, actually doing its job now. It's kind of cool. Yeah. Is it kind of cool though? I mean, it's, well, it's a, like it's like it's, it's Java a, from it's like a the nineteen. It's it's a hacked eclipse to pretend it's a mail client. Yeah, that's actually true. And you it know is. that because it will... when it crashes, it gives you eclipse errors. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You're you're not wrong. You're not wrong. Hey, sometimes but it's, it's actually nice a to go, uh... It's actually a wonderful uh, email and database and calendaring service and i couldn't say and a bad word contacts it. it's so contact. wonderful and co in contacts too don't forget it's contact oh, it's incredible it's my favorite yeah you know yeah so. so about this uh system phase huh yeah it's uh it's uh waiting waiting uh waiting for phase to ready that does, that's not english waiting for phase red right wouldn't it be to be ready System I mean, I can see truncating it a little bit so that it doesn't take up the entire screen and scroll. They probably tried yeah. to keep it to 80 characters or something. Oh, yeah. Because old school graybeard admins get mad if you use yeah. more than 80 characters. That's why I always do 81. Because of their, because of their uh, monochrome CRT monitors on their Amiga <laughs> running uh, NetBSD. Is it NetBSD uh, that's supposed to run on everything? BOS. No, it's BOS. BOS. No. 
whatever of the BSDs is NetBSD. supposed to run on absolutely yeah. everything. Yeah. Yeah. NetBSD. Yeah. Uh, 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 OpenBSD eventually got there, but NetBSD was the one that, that's right. That is right. Well, hang on. No, there's NetBSD is the one that runs on everything. OpenBSD is the one that's secure and FreeBSD is the one that people use. Yes, <laughs> that's exactly right. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. They, uh, you can actually get NetBSD to run on IP cameras. Correctly. Right. Wow, this is still taking time to connect. What is? Yeah. Going? So how how do we know if it's like actually taking so this long, or if it's broken? Uh, well, it looks like we got our database for PVC because there's obviously a PVC on the, the back of this right. thing, right? Do it. Um, do it get that all? looks like. Did you just take it over? Okay. Take it. Mm, we're waiting for a stateful set, it seems. Yeah. Looks like we're waiting for a stateful set to come up. Stateful okay. set. Um, a stateful set is basically a. Uh, it's the same thing as a deployment, except it has uh, specific rules to make sure that uh, they start up in order and have set and known names uh, to make it easy to tie back to persistent volumes and other stuff, uh, usually used for databases and stuff. So why don't you go ahead and do a kubectl describe on the, uh, oh, dude, your, uh, your terminal is uh, taking forever to update are you all seeing that on the stream or is it just me oh uh, we lost our little um hourglass it seems oh no so it seems that uh there you go um so it doesn't like open shift it seems uh, oh this is amazing all right. Okay. So, so let's go ahead and delete that namespace and let's install it yes. via the operator. We should probably put a... Uh... So while, while, while JJ is doing this, I'll uh, explain what is going on. So OpenShift by default is a lot more secure than most Kubernetes distributions by default. And it does a few things um it insists that uh the users are run as a random user like and can't be root and there's a bunch of other stuff and so what often happens when people have written kube resources that don't take into account some of those security best practices they refuse to work on OpenShift. Now you can create what's called an SCC, which is a security context configuration. And that will allow you to bypass some of those checks. Like you can say this particular service account is allowed to run as a specific user 10,001. But for the most part, you want to conform with the OpenShift security standards because that's going to keep you more secure. And so what we often see is open source projects don't conform to those, but the operators that make their way into the operator hub do, because if they don't work on OpenShift, they generally don't end up in the operator hub. And so that's why yes. JJ is able to log into the uh, OpenShift cluster now. Uh, it's not actually. Up on the operator hub totally is but there's this one this isn't the uh the same operator that we were trying to install just 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 click on that it run, builds rook and numba so it's more than just numba yeah that's fine though it'll get us where we gotta go okay hang on just humor me this connection is not private. 
Oh no, what are you doing? Oh no. What are you doing, JJ? Girl bashing my life. Oh my goodness. What? Um Neil. Neil, Neil, Neil. Doesn't know what Rook is. Ooh, what's Should Rook? Should we tell him? All right, so while JJ is doing this, Rook, Rook is basically a manager for uh, an operator for managing Seth. And so you can say, hey, Rook, give me a Seth, and it will handle spinning up your Seth nodes and configuring it. And then if you have like two Cephs, you can say, hey, Rook, mirror this Seth with that Seth and set up like replication and stuff like that. Uh, and so the theory is it takes some of the complication away from uh, managing something as complex as Ceph. All right, so we're installing the OCS operator into the op uh, OpenShift storage namespace now, just as the instructions told us to. And we are no longer doing any of this. You can, it seems, run Numba locally um, relatively easy, it seems. So if somebody wants to be adventurous and try that and come back to us, that'd be awesome. Um, it looks like it just runs a container on your local machine or inside of uh, Minikube where it'll work and then you can actually have the endpoint. So Now, what I'll show you real quick, uh, I'll put it in uh, chat. But there is a uh, there is an operator for Nuba in the operator hub. Uh, obviously, it hasn't made its way to the operator hub that's inside OpenShift. Uh, but this does provide instructions on uh, deploying it anyway. But we're getting where we got to go using this OpenShift container storage, I hope. I hope so. And we might even, if this all goes well, we might even be able to play, get to play with uh, Rook. All right, so this is built. Looks like we need to create, oh, it's still installing, never mind. I'll make this a little bit, oh, there we go, succeeded. I think it's a little bit bigger so people can read if they want to. Nope, that's too big. Um, all right, the first thing we need to do is create a storage cluster. Um, uh, two terabytes, that seems a little big. Wait, hang on. Um, what, what did it, didn't storage cluster say it was deploying Seth? Go back, hang on. Um, so if we go back to installed operators, this operator, um, create a storage cluster to use this operator. And including Ceph cluster and Numba and all the storage required and resources required. So this looks like it's the next step. We're basically building a massive okay. infrastructure. <laughs> All right, let's 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 do we do we want to maybe um before you do that do a uh -huh. on the console do a kube cuddle get crds grep um nuba get, uh, sorry get crds grep nuba there we go yeah so there's so that tells me this Nuba operator is installed. So maybe we should go back to the Nuba docs and see what it says about just doing Nuba. Because I feel like if we create this, we'll end up with a Ceph cluster as well, which may be interesting, but it's also maybe outside the scope of what we're trying to achieve and therefore maybe extra complicated and might be more right, likely for us to fail. Uh, so it looks like with the, using the Nuba status command, um, we found the CRDs, found the namespace, but we did not create any of the other stuff inside of it. Um, right. And those um, are not there. 
So we can we can go back to this. Do uh, let's uh, hold on. Let me just check something yeah. before you do anything sure. there. Uh, K dash and open shift storage. And hold on. So that's the Nuba operator. Um, I really didn't want to have to do. So we'll go back to the Nuba, um, Nuba docs. Nuba. Oh, hey, yeah. Click on the Nuba operator there. The deployment. It's. Just oh, I thought it, I thought it. I thought it might show us the, like from an operator. No. Click click on I, installed I, operators. Installed operators. My gut telling me is my first 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 suspicion with this container storage is that it's a wrapper around a bunch of stuff. Yeah. Uh, and if we're gonna use this thing, which eats in Numba, we're gonna get a bunch of other stuff going on too. Right. Because it looked even so if like you provide wanna... APIs, you can't really do anything, right? Like you can only do exactly yeah, what so like we need to. I'm just a little bit concerned that we're going down a path that maybe only uh, OpenShift people can do versus straight up Kubernetes. Um, let me do. Give me one second. I want to look at the. I, I do have a shit. Kubernetes cluster that we can just go back and try to do this with Kubernetes. Can do that. Go back to this one. Oh yeah. Why don't you Why don't you auth to Kubernetes, and let's follow the docs for the uh, operator hub. Uh, that I linked. Yep. And let's fo let's follow that. And then maybe that'll give us hints on what we can do for OpenShift. Oh, you don't want to just do the deploy to Kubernetes one here? Is that the same one? This is the core. You sent me. Oh, shit. Let's see, if I... Let's see if these are how different this is. So Nuba, th there is talking about um, Oh, interesting. Okay, so yeah. this is I'm, I'm, I think this Nuba install from the core looks like it's a wrapper for some of this stuff. Because all the right. same information comes this operator forces you to um, do very too specific. So, do you want to do the? Do, what do we want to do? Let's let's. Um, let's use the operator. Okay. Actually, you know what? Let's follow the docs exactly as they. I'm going to change my mind. Let's let's follow their docs. <laughs> No, I really do hate we'll you. Start, we'll start. I, 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 really I know. Do. I know. You, you do I'm, this. I'm, I'm trying just to. to uh, you know what? I'm trying to make sure that we just follow the docs. I think that's probably because that's the best way we can make sure their docs work and we can provide any feedback if they don't, right? So, um, to deploy Numbo, we recommend the Numbo so I follow these instructions. Let's just verify we've done that. So we're going back to here. We installed Numba. Now we need to create the namespace here. Click on namespace. And then do NS of Numba. I keep thinking there's I keep thinking there's an M. It's not in my mind, it's Numba, not Nuba. Ugh, it's so annoying. All right. Uh, Numba. Or, uh, install. CRDs are being created. We're in pending state again. 
get that big so people could see. So why don't you uh, pop a second terminal and do a get all, and that way we can sort of see stuff coming up. Um, there we go. Uh, this is we're waiting on the PVC probably. Okay, yeah. See. Yep. There we go. Dash W. Hopefully, when that pops up, up, then the stateful set will do what it needs to get done, and then we should see this continue on. Mm -hmm. It only takes a, it only takes a couple minutes for the PVC to appear. So that's that's. Nice. Yeah. Hopefully, it's only fifty gigs, not two terabytes. Jesus. Also, well, if, I wanted to do if, two, two terabytes. Actually, it's, oh. Classic. We um, both got talking this at one, the same time. It's true. It actually pulls the capacity of the block storage and then mm -hmm. wants to split it across all three nodes, which makes kind of sense. So I thought that was interesting. Yeah. It, I mean, it's going to set up a, um, a Ceph cluster, right? So it's going to create yep. probably a... Um, uh, a Ceph pod in each. Uh, I mean, you could. It's a US you could do both OSD, side right? by side while we're waiting. Hey, what do you OSD, do that? Right. All right. Why don't we're you doing point five? Doing point five. Uh, no question. Tech preview. That's bound. So I actually did it. Uh, oh. Shit, this is too small. This cluster is too small for it. it needs at least seventy-two gigs of RAM with thirty of the CPUs. Yeah, so. Um, well, there goes. We'll go ahead and click. Idea. Well, no, we could still try. It's not like we're doing this in production or anything, right? Yeah, I mean, it does say it's going to still do it. It's just minimal, and it's a tech preview. Just, just yeet um, that on in. That's right. JJ like it. does need a bigger home lab. Need... Hey, if you want to no, like true. and subscribe, uh, IBM will give <laughs> JJ a raise and he can buy buy a, another Raspberry Pi. There you go. Uh, cloud services, handle scenes management, internal uh, infrastructure. That's a typo. <laughs> um, yeah, that's right. Uh, uh, Full snabble, you cannot get nothing done on just 30 CPUs and 70 gig. Wasn't that isn't that what <laughs> Bill Gates said? No one should ever need more than 30, 30 CPUs, CPUs and 70 gigabytes of RAM. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. That's good. <sighs> yeah. uh, all right, so we're just gonna do internal. Um and then doing point five. So, hey, looks like things are happening over here. Next. Sorry. I oh, no, it doesn't like. Waiting music. It do doesn't like it. Hey, it's not letting you do it? Oh, no, no, it is. No, it is. I'm getting there. I just have to go through the same thing okay. a couple times. Just All right, here we go. Button. All right. Hello. Do we work now? We're doing status to verify everything's uh, how we expect it to be. I got to say, it is weird watching the TMUX and watching your screen at the same time because your screen is so far behind. Oh, uh, really? Neil, are you seeing this? Is it just me? Maybe it's just my view of things. All right, so we're waiting for this PV pool to happen. Um, oh, that's fun. Yeah, go ahead and steal our keys. That's always nice. Um, uh -huh. And then our external IP. No, it did too. not just dump your keys up there. But these are probably Hand fake pass. keys, right? No, no, this is actually, yeah, we're, we're going to have to delete this cluster as soon as we're done. Um, no, no, that's just, that's just, that's just keys for the S3 store running on Nuba, right? Yes, on that's Nuba. That's not an actual, on, on yeah. yeah, yeah, okay. So it's not like you've actually just given out your Amazon account to anyone. No, 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 that, that, I did not do that. Um, yeah, see, Neil agrees. Yeah. There's like some terminal outpush issue issues happening with JJ. Apparently, his upgraded gigabit 
internet isn't uh, get quite enough gigs. Number just told me to go fuck myself. Um, well, yeah, that's exciting. I really hate it. Like, as a Mac user, you get used to using Safari everywhere, and they're like, "Sorry, Safari isn't supported." And you're just like, "It's a fucking web browser. It just shouldn't matter." Nobody uses Safari. What are you talking about? I use Safari. Don't have it on the laptop then, if you don't need, if you don't have it. Something. <laughs> well, you're not wrong. It, it turns so. out, it turns out you this this is a little bit more accurate than it should be. Is <laughs> IE six. All right, so here's the that. Here's that. Damn it! Oh, ugh. hang on. Do you, do you want me to take yeah. over? No, no, it's fine. I got it. Well, because your your screen is okay, uh, your screen is messing up anyway, right? So maybe I should take over. Is it really? Have you not been no. listening to me? I've been trying to log into the Numba cluster this whole time. Right. There you go. So this is Numba up and running. Uh, I got five gigs total storage um, on this Kubernetes cluster, uh, which seems really small. One bucket. Well, yeah, it says fifty gigs there, right? But right. according to the overview, it's only five. Right. Available five. I'm not crazy, right? Like everyone else sees this too. Yeah. I don't know. Are you? I, I mean, everyone else can log in and figure it out because, you know, where's the where's pool the... called testing? Got at least be three characters. Um, we'll go ahead and go with 20 gigs. It cannot be changed later on. Three nodes, kind. All right. Do uh get PVC? Oh, issues. There are problems with this thing. That isn't healthy. That's issues. Where I don't know. Can you find I can't. I can't read crap that's happening on your screen, man. No, right, you want to take over? How did you? How did you, how did you log in? Because I just tried to log in, and it's like access denied. XML garbage. Did you choose the external um, IP? Yeah, I put in the, um, if you scroll up, there's this uh, management credentials. Management All right, credentials, you see my screen? Email password. Yeah, hang on, let me bring it in. There you go. Oops. Yeah, see those management credentials right there? Middle of the screen. Okay. If you click, but you see, I used this back. external IP and got to there. It didn't get a login screen. Oh, but it gave me a different, what the hell? Yeah, 86, not 93 or 90. I did 86. And then I did this. I did advanced to proceed. Weird. Computers, man. All right. It don't make any sense. I know. Password. Admin at nuba.io. Keep me logged in. Yeah, so we need to figure out how to figure out what issues are. Oops. That's the next. That's the next challenge. Right. So there are issues showing there. Uh, really, if you zoom, if you zoomed in, it doesn't let you scroll. How uh, how annoying is that? Mm. Okay, but I issues are warnings, right? Well, you'd hope so. I'm I'm worried that it's not no, like, initializing because it's look state initializing. Oh, there so we go. Look at this. Check it out. Um, go back to the, the the 
No, go back to the terminal. That's that's the uh, that's what. See, there it is. Terminal. They're pending. That's the reason uh, why. Standard I created storage a... class. Do you? Oh shit! Yeah, I don't know if that exists. But you don't have a standard storage class. Oh my god! Really? Um. So it had to been. We'd have to like. I didn't have. If you go back to the. Yeah, hang on. Oh, give me one. Give me one screen. sec. Yeah, no, I need to just close a bunch right. of stuff. Had a bunch of stuff open because I wasn't expecting to be uh, sharing my screen. I really have no idea why my screen is. All right. Like, I, I just stopped moving there. Again. Right. I still don't know why that happens. All right. So I should have my screen again. You know, I think you need to hit a button. All right. Yes. So here's so, the okay. deal. Those are pending because it's asking for a standard storage class, and we don't have a standard storage class. So how did we? How did these get configured? Uh, so I'll go back. Go back. Yeah, to the thing on the right hand side. Uh, the um, dashboard button. On the far left, little gauge thing. Yeah, uh, add storage class. That big red one. Underneath the storage nice resources. Storage resource. Yep. And then I did a Kubernetes you did pool there. Kubernetes pool. Yep. Okay. Click on that. It's fine. And put it in just some name. Name. I put testing. Perfect. Next. You see, it doesn't give me an. Op it doesn't give me a, uh, a choice, right? It's just like right. Go do the thing. It doesn't, it doesn't actually allow me to choose. So hence the reason it defaulted to standard. Right. Because so, that was what it was. Hey, get all. Um, K get. Uh, Can you edit the PVC maybe? That's what I'm going to look at. K get C R D grep new bar. K edit backing store. K get. Right here. Uh, and what was it? IBM Gold Potato Something Gold. Ah, oh, shit. Now you're asking. Um, Something Gold. Oh, God damn it. Um, hang on. Let me change the screen real quick. Or you got it? Okay. That's all right. I'll just look it up. IBM File Bronze. IBM File Gold. What's our? I mean, file, do file, 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 file gold, yeah. Save that. Okay, describe. Uh, I was hoping, I was really hoping that they uh, <laughs> were going to use the short name BS for back in the store, but I guess not. Uh, but it's still not KD. Still showing up as, okay, so here's what we're going to do. K get back in the store testing dash O YAML. Yes. YAML. Okay. Delete backing. Okay. Uh, dot YAML. IBM C file gold is there. So okay, you get PVC. Okay, I dash F uh, yes. YAML. Okay, you get PVC. Look at this. Hey, good job. 
It's like I know what I'm uh, doing. Yeah, believe it or not. Right, so hopefully, so now we, we do, come back to do here. Watch. Yeah. Do, uh, we gotta wait for it to be bound, though. Yeah, yeah. I'm just. So yeah, I, I should be able to come back to here now and look at resources. Testing. Now, did it say in the Nuba docs anywhere? Um, where, where, where were you at where I was actually talking about adding bridge? It, it didn't. I just brought up the website and started. I noticed something was broken, so I figured I'd give it a shot. Oh, we, there it is, right there. Make okay. sure it's single default storage class. That's how you change it from standard to that. Wait, where, right. where are you seeing that? Stay in the center, straight in the center. Make sure, up, 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 up. Make sure there is a single default storage. It was. It was standard. But it doesn't try and use default. Okay. Oh, yeah. You're right. It tried to call out standard. Is it a standard an AWS thing? Oh, here we go. Specify which storage class to use with. So that's what we should have done there. Yeah, but that wasn't a step. I mean, we shouldn't have had thing. to. We shouldn't have had to. Correct. Gr granted, IBM does have a different back end storage classes than other clouds. Wait, it, like, but that's the whole point of having default. Yeah. If you have default and you leave class as empty, it should pick the default. It should. Um, we do k get pvc. So if we do k get um, backing source. Still creating. Uh, we're now creating. I like how it says it's rejected. That's fun. So if we do a describe on testing. Uh, it looks like it's coming up, right? Because the statuses yep. were still couldn't connect, but now it's uh, it's phase creating. Now, it hasn't failed. Error. Yeah, it's doing something. It's further than it was, I think. Some someone's running out to the net app and right now. That's a good sign. Type it in into the net app to give us the right? NFS mount. So while that's doing that, so this is going to create a local store. Um, now we can look at back here. And we can look at backing store. So, I'm so still this is how we can create an. Go ahead. Yeah, I'm, I'm so so. In my mind, what we're doing is we're creating a Numba instance to be able to talk to multiple backends. No. So no, no. You're you're creating a storage. You're creating a backing store to act as an S3. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So there's different. Different types of backing stores, right? So you've created one that's going to run in cluster. What I just brought up is the docs on how to uh, create one as um, as an S3. Yeah. And the advantage of this would be right. if you were writing your own application, you'd only need one, one endpoint to put that. And it could be across multiple different cl clusters or multiple different clouds, which would be advantageous for development. So you don't have to have like a billion different buckets and keys. You have one central location to control. Right. Right. I, yeah. I, but I think it's probably also more about retrieval because different, mm. different clouds are better at different things, but a lot of those clouds at the end of the day are using their object storage to store stuff. So you might have different services doing different activities in the different clouds that are resulting in objects. And so instead mm. of having to know how to get to each of them, 
you have this localized thing and then you're dealing with like local auth to the cluster yeah. versus having to know all of these upstream things. So why don't and, we go yeah, ahead it's, and... It's already fought, yeah. Why don't we go ahead and do this? So you can see here, we have this command here, right? Yep. All right, we put up and this. And this will, this. I mean, this, this is gonna fail. I'm not actually gonna do yeah. I'm not actually gonna put creds in yet. This is gonna fail because obviously uh, we don't have uh, credentials, right? Get invalid yep. credentials. But now what we're going to do is JJ is going to fill out my Uber bucket. Okay. Yeah. JJ is going to stop sharing for a second. So we just see our faces, which he just did. And he's going to mm. fill out the rest of this. There we go. <laughs> and I got to make that bucket real quick. Hang on. Well, I'm hoping that Nuba is smart three. enough. Yeah. Yeah, that's probably true. You know, it'd be smart if we, you know, you know, exported these as variables so you never had to do this. Are you, are you not watching that that's exactly what I'm doing here? No, like we have it standardized, like oh. in our actual like basher or C or something. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you might need to put a sensible. quote right. around the secret key. That'll be fine. Okay. Access key. You can you can go ahead and bring oh, the, the other screen secret. back up. Yeah. Okay. I Nuba bucket JJ. All right. So hopefully this will get us what we need. Backing store BS already exists. Ah. A S three. This smells okay. Hey, cool. All right, so it's authenticating, but the bucket doesn't exist. So now JJ is going to create that bucket in S three, uh, and we didn't specify a region, so I'm going to assume it wants uh, US East one. Yeah, that's what I'm assuming too. It's really interesting that they don't have a create. Yeah, I mean, I guess it wouldn't be that hard for them to for them to implement that, but that's yeah. okay. Um, One step in, right? Yeah, exactly. So while that's happening, uh, I'm looking at our storage resources, and it looks like testing is still showing as uh, not ready. Just do a hard refresh just in case when in doubt. I need to come in and clean out some hell. JJS3 uh, in US East 1, right? Yep, US East 1. Great bucket. Bucket with the name already exists. It is creating. So maybe we're just waiting for it to be created. 
same target bucket doesn't exist. I'm looking for um, it on the console. Give me a second. According to our Numba instance, it's being created, but on this side, I cannot find that. Ooh, Where are you okay. saying that it's created? Um, when I tried to create the, the bucket on the console, it said it already existed. And then when you did that, a when, it, when you did some command, it showed up as, a, as one of the things being created. No, it's not. You're talking about the, the bucket in S3 in the Amazon console? Yeah. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Let me take it over. There we go. That, that's where it says creating. JJ S3. JJ. JJ. It's not creating the S3 bucket. It's creating a storage resource. You it okay. can't create but, the... But, but I, I can't create the bucket because the bucket says it's already created on the console. JJS3. Really? I'll hit create. No, JJ. Yes. Oh my goodness! You, you need to pay attention, man. Look, 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 look. JJS3 JJS3. is the name of the backing store. The bucket is my Nuba bucket, JJ. Oh, I didn't see that. What was a Nuba? This guy. Uh, my dash nuba dash bucket dash jj you can copy and paste it from the um tmux if you need to wait what did i do wrong here uh, great bucket there we go now it's showing up as ready right. okay so i just i thought you called the cup bucket was jj or that's three my bad yes yes it was your bad you are correct all right well that is at least one thing working and that is our s3 bucket now it's still failing to get us the um the other one it's okay describe backing or testing. Oh, it finally rejected it. Okay, get pods. Okay, log stash F. Thing, move pod eight. Unhandled promise, no such file or directory yeah. oh is this the fs group thing <laughs> oh didn't you have a fix for that uh we use block storage instead of file so you want to do that Change it from block to, or from file to block. I hate you so much, JJ. I know, I know. Got to be difficult. Right. Get rid of that. Okay, get backing store testing. A delete backing store testing. A get SC IBM. There is no IBM block. Hmm. 
Mm. So anyways, I think what's important here is we have something. So let's roll with the JJS3 and let's roll with seeing how we can now access it. So how do we? Okay, so there's now no file. Bucket. There's not block gold. Sorry, I'm here. Well, just no, just not. I mean, th- th- there isn't. But also, like, no. let's not care. We okay. we have something working, so let's keep rolling. All right. So now the next step is we have uh, we have buckets, and so is there a. Was there a tutorial here? No. Hey, IBM Cost. Nice. New doc site is nearly ready. Getting started. User guide. Types of buckets. Advanced usage. No. Install. The status. Oh God, you're killing me. Mm. Following sections oh. for now, use the docs from here and here, right? Yeah, that site doesn't work. If we got a bunch of to dos all over it, that was the first thing I was looking at, actually. Yeah. Building. Testing, let's go. Directory structure. On our own. Mm hmm. It's dangerous out there. You should take this with you. Radio. Mm hmm. Right. So we have, we have something running, we have a backing store. So mm-hmm. now let's create a bucket. Uh, they go smells. Yeah, I do. And we hit next. And that has access to. Ooh. Interesting. So I can choose to spread the data or mirror the data. Mm. So let's just go with spread because we only have one. And now we have a bucket called JJ Smells. Now we have connect an application. And there you go, back to that statement about the internal. All right, so there's that. Uh, oh, Neil, me too, buddy. Me too, I, uh, I miss that. The old chef lunch is a central market too. Now, do you have the S3? Like an S3 CLI you can use to put and get files. Do you want to find that? Uh, sure. Uh, S3 CLI. That's not the one I want. And hello, S3 CLI. Oh, 
what? Mm -hmm. I used to have a CLI that didn't need the AD, full AWS CLI. Anyway, yeah. you have... AWS should be on there. No? Yeah, there you go. AWS has three. But you're... you're yeah, I'm not... Thinking about it. Burn. Uploading individual files to S3. All right. Can we grab this? We see here though it doesn't give us the ability to set the one stuff. Hmm. And that website is like crushing my machine. Upload files. Oh my God. JJ, why do they make my life so difficult? Hello, man. Uh, CLI to upload to S3 compatible storage. No, oh God, go away. <laughs> As Paul is doing some Googling, is there any questions or thoughts we can answer for you or the audience that's watching? I mean, we have gotten it to work, which is nice. Um, I mean, we think we've gotten it to work. We don't know that we've gotten it to work until we prove this out. Yeah, I guess. Oh, I, I bet you it's going to get mad because it's a, a, a just straight out untrusted certificate oh yeah yeah it's gonna get real mad about that cluster Ugh. channel name you bucket uh jj smells AWS S3, right? Yeah. And then remove that, that S3. The spot. Almost there. Why is this so garbage? <laughs> like literally AWS S3 help gives us no usage information about how to do anything. How, do, how can we manage so S3 using AWS? S um 
Neil's S3, S3 CMD. CMD. Yeah, that's what Neil was telling saying you should use. S3 CMD. Oh, it's Python? Can I do pip install? Pip install. Oh. JJ, I hate you so much. <laughs> At least you've got straight Python. Oh, download it loading from SourceForge. This is fine. Really? <laughs> nice. Uh, if you didn't know what weather bug was, that's a that's an old internet joke. It's good stuff. I wonder how long we can just watch JJ staring at his phone and not paying attention to us. A uh, pr pretty long time, actually, because I've gotten some. Yeah, I know. In the background. Like, yeah. Yeah, well, the interesting thing happening in the foreground is your uh, TMUX server doesn't have anything useful Python related. You should have Python 3. Yeah, so do. I mean, if you look at the error right above, you'll. Um, is this sudo yum install Python? Hang on. This should get us where we gotta go. Yay! Oh, nope, boy. Nope. <laughs> That's fine. Hang on. Are no, you good? Oh. Let's beat some pseudo love. We should probably we delete this box at some point. <laughs> Dash configure. All right. We are getting somewhere. Now, we are on Nuba. So there is our access key. Oh, my God. Why is their app so bad? Because people forget people actually have to use their apps. Mm hmm Secret key. Default region. Endpoint. Mm. There is no DNS. I mean, I guess we could use a... Uh, um, no, it's, what's it's it called? Fine. Press domain. Okay. Fine, I just didn't want HTTPS. Mm. 
Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Retry configuration. Access key. That is correct. Secret key. Let's try that one again. Cult region. We don't have one. in this that seems fine wait there's ah. two twice DNS style bucket plus host name port template for accessing a bucket Oh, so we can do JJ smells plus. Mm. I don't care about that. I don't care about that. I don't care about that. Mm. <laughs> Oh, good times. You want to try the uh, ingress domain? Because I remember seeing it earlier. Wait, I don't think it's using ingress. Mm. I think it used a load balancer, not ingress. Oh. Um, so we need to set that up. Yeah. Uh, I, I wonder if non... Um, S3 CMD dash H. Where's dash K? Uh, dash K. Does it have dash K? I didn't, I didn't think I saw it. I don't think so. Right. CMD untrusted mm -hmm. CA. <sighs> S3 CMD secure mode. Uh, dash dash no check certificate. Try this again. Let's try this again. Yay. Let's try it. Let's try it. Let's try it. Let's try it. Let's try this again. Right. Access key. Access key. Secret key. Secret key. Alt region. Whatever. I don't care. I want this. Oh, right there. S3 N. NS style bucket plus host name port template for accessing a bucket. Oh, I see. Hey, that's better. Far out. 
And then I think I saw. How do you some upload up something? Yeah. <laughs> Well, can we LS it? I like how it says your access key and secret work fine. That was a good feeling. Ah! What? Uh, what was that? No check certificate. Uh, is there a way to just see like buckets with S3 CMD? S3 buckets. Um, Wait, uh, do LA. The... Do, take out the LS and the S3, just do LA. No. Yeah, it's it's an invalid key issue. Um, oh. But if you look, it's not actually in the config up here. It didn't save the IP address. I'll go ahead and change it, I guess. I don't think it did anyway. No, it did test it. We saw the test. Yeah. There it is, host base. didn't save it look access key access token it's literally the mm. worst day of my life come back to here access key secret key i think that's what you're going for. oh there it is Yeah, so it's file, that's good, you can do there. Check SSL certificate. Okay, we want that as well. We just comment these out. And pretend we don't care. Just What if we just do this? How do we set a host? Doesn't say. Mm. Almost there. Do something. Yes. Nice. There it is.
Fuck, I don't know what's going on. We're, we're so close. We can we can LS the buckets, but it's I'm, I don't, I'm not figuring out the right syntax to look at the bucket. Um, just maybe just S3, the bucket name? Well, that's what we were doing. But then it's it's trying to actually use S3. Oh, got it. Oh, what if I do this? What if I do this? Uh, oh, there you go. Oh, this is just right? me yelling in the local else. directory. Oh. <laughs> Poor JJ, he got excited. Mm -hmm. Do this. CP news. Destination must be an S3 URL. Not too sure here. Wait, is there a three C and D? Really? Upload. No. It is put and CP as well, but we do that. And it's just giving me like some overall help Garbage. for the put command. Yeah. That is not great. Put. Oh my God. Use S three. Oh, there we go. And if we combine that with that, Almost. Specified bucket does not exist. Back to the LS command we were running. <laughs> no, nope, not that one. That one's going to fail. Goddamn it, Paul. Saying that this should listing it here, S3 JJ smells. What if I do this? I don't know what's going on, but clearly we're connecting to it. It's kind of working. We just can't figure out syntax to save our lives. Yeah. It's all good. Um, we, we at least, we, we successfully got to talk into AWS, as you said. And then um, what, we'll, what we'll do is, um, well, we're going to, uh, unless you want to stream, Paul, um, we're going to be off next week. Um, but... Um, yeah, you're right. We're off next week. Yep. Um, but we can revisit this in a couple of weeks and maybe get um, mirroring working across, you know, like AWS and costs or something like that. And then our S3 and costs. 
um, because oh, we'll blow this cluster up and set it up again, uh, which would be a good kind of practice. And then from there, we can kind of move forward, which is cool. Oh, uh, JJ, did you not catch Neil asking us for the best spring rolls in Austin and you just and we didn't catch that? Oh, I, I, I'm, I'm chat while I was working. Yeah. I was I was Googling for you in the background trying to trying to get some of these commands, but I'm, yeah, I'm you were just fucking around on your phone. Don't <laughs> lie to me. No, I was I was Googling. I was Googling. All right. Uh, all right. Cool. All right. Well, oh. thanks. Thanks, folks, for joining us. Uh we got I mean, we did succeed. We just don't know how to CLI or Google. Yep. Apparently. At all. At all. Two highly paid IT cloud professionals and we figure out how to use S3 command. That's basically the shit, the, the, the gist of it. Mm-hmm. All right, Paul. Say bye. Bye. <laughs>